Hello, welcome to your 8th Django tutorial, uh, building the new home for Master Code Online. And in this tutorial, we're going to create our first app. Um, now, for you guys who never really worked with Django, uh, there's two names that get thrown around a lot, and uh, I want to just make sure you don't get confused. First one's Project, and uh, Django Project's your overall uh, application, so anything that's contained in Source, in our case, is the project. Now, another name gets thrown around is app or application. And now an application is a smaller directory or a piece of software that houses just um, like one feature to this whole project, right? And the purpose of an application is uh, you should be able to write the application once and use it across many projects, and that's the idea behind it. Um, so if you're a professional developer in, in Django, um, if you're writing, say, a blog, you write a blog app, uh, you should be able to take that blog app from your previous build and maybe make a couple of minor changes and have it running on another um, project. Uh, that's the goal behind it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But if you go into writing your applications with the mindset, hey, I want it to be portable, um, most of the time you can make it uh, function that way and make your life a lot easier. So if you're planning on be becoming a professional Django developer, then uh, you need to get into that mindset. So uh, that's what our goal is going to be. And like I said, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, sometimes your requirements don't allow for that. But let's go ahead and check it out. Let's create an application. So let's do uh, python manage.py start app. And we're going to call our app Tutorials. This is going to be the home to our tutorials on mastercode.online. Uh, so what this is doing right now is Django, uh, we run this command, Django, go, uh, go, Django goes and creates some default directory, uh, default directory and uh, files for us. So let's take a look at them. Over here you got Tutorials. And let's review all the files in here so you guys have an understanding before we just start coding here. Um, first thing you got is migrations. And what the migrations folder does is when we create a model, right here, models, we're going to look at this. The models is the structure of our database, all right, written in Python code. Well, so databases don't understand Python code, all right. So what we do is we create our our models and then Django goes and looks at them and creates a new file that it puts into our migrations and then when we run oh I should say after we run make migrations it takes our models and puts it into our migrations and then when we run python migrate or python manage.py migrate it will go ahead and take that file and convert it into something the database understands, all right, into a language the database understands. And that's what the migration folder does. It holds that information. Now, um, as we move on through tutorials, sometimes things get a little hairy and our database isn't work functioning properly. Just watch for what I do with the migrations to uh, make it function um, sometimes if we're constantly changing the uh, models and then migrating, uh, things get a little hairy. So I just want to point that out. Just watch what I do there. I know some people have had problems in the past about that and have sent me emails. So just trying to head it off before it happens. The next file uh, we see is two underscores in it, two underscores dot py. Um, um, this file is meant for up here for tutorials and what it does is indicates hey this directory contains python files all right so this is all it does is really indicate that uh next one is admin.py this has to do with the back end uh that I showed you before the admin section uh here we can code our admin section uh change the look the feel and how it functions you'll see this in action um, apps.py this is basically like a configuration uh, file so we can configure how our application works in here we'll look at that in the, in the future uh, models.py like I said before this is how we set up the structure of our um, our database all right test.py we can write test 
for our application. Uh, it's a great way to test your uh, project to make sure it's working properly. And finally, views.py. All right. Uh, before we cover views, let's go ahead and create one more file. Right click on tutorials, click new, and then file. And here we're going to say urls.py. All right. So let's cover urls first. What urls handle is the uh, request coming in from the user. Um, so when you get a request, when the user visits a URL, uh, it sends a request to the server. That request goes through our WSGI, our Web Server um, Gateway Interface, and it goes to our URLs, and then it looks for a URL that matches. Um, let's open up this one here. And Mara is saying it looks for one that matches. So if it is forward slash admin, then it'll say, oh, I found that. And then it goes to the next argument, which would be your view. And our views are down here in here. And it will look for that view. Once it finds that review, that view, that view is designed to uh, send back a response. All right. So this is where we write our responses, if you will. And it will send back a response. What do we want to send back to the user? And that's how we respond. So that's how the whole process works. We get a request. It goes to the WSGI. Goes, then goes to the URLs.py file. Finds the matching URL. Finds the view that is associated with that URL's pattern. And then shoots back the response all right so that's how it all works um, so we'll dig into that more as we start coding here in the next tutorial we will start actually designing our database so if you have any questions feel feel free to ask otherwise I'll see you in the next tutorial